Hello, plan people. How are you guys doing today? If you don't know who I am, my name is Ashley and I'm a content creator on Connected to the Land. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to garden indoors. First off, we're going to start off with a trip to PB Mart, where we're going to look at all the indoor gardening things they have and exactly how to select what you need for your indoor garden. I must say, I do have a film crew here today, which is very, very rare. This is Paige, one of my absolute besties. What do you want to say to probably tens of thousands of people? I hope she doesn't buy too much in the store. That is accurate. This is my <laughs> second trip here today, which is slightly embarrassing. So I'm prepared for the folks at PB Mart to seriously judge me. Not gonna lie, but without further ado, let's hop inside my favorite store. Paige, your favorite store? 100%. See, everyone's favorite store. And check out what they have for indoor gardening supplies. Okay, so we are here inside PB Mart and this is their entire selection of indoor gardening gear. This is insane. They got so much stuff and so many different options, but how do you choose what's best for you? And ultimately it depends on what you're trying to grow. My mask is gonna fall down like a thousand times. So to start off with, you wanna choose a way to start your seedlings. So one of the starter kits that they do have here at PB Mart is the Root Farm Kit. Inside of here, we have peat moss based cubes. They're nicely compressed and they fit perfectly into both the Root Farm brand uh, hydroponics as well as the Jiffy Hydro and you can use them in the Sun Blaster as well. Now if you don't want to use these or you still have some of your Jiffy pods left over from the springtime, the ones in the nylon netting, you can also give those a shot. This is for starting the seedlings. So you're going to start to place them in here. You may or may not add something like a heat mat, which we can see over here, which is the Sun Blaster variety. And if you're growing things like tomatoes and peppers, this may be something you want to keep in mind. Now, if you are growing lettuce, herbs, or leafy greens, just planting them in a normal peat pod is all you need to succeed. So once you have them planted in these pods, you can go on to the next step, which would be selecting your actual compartment or container in which you want to grow. So say you decide you didn't want to start with the actual root farm peat, compressed peat, you can start with something that's going to guarantee success. And that would be your Jiffy Hydro starter kit. So inside of the starter kit there is four pellets in which you can start a variety of different seeds that can include full-blown tomatoes and pepper plants as well as leafy greens and herbs. It's actually pretty cheap to get and it'll be a great start to get your feet a little bit wet when it comes to hydroponics in general. Next we have what you're going to take either what's in here or from these root farm starter packs down here and you're going to place it into something such as this this or the root farm down here now the difference between all of these is very subtle and it kind of ultimately depends on what your budget is and what you want to go for so the jiffy hydro grow system does have an indicator on here to tell you what size of plant you can grow inside of this exact setup now the thermometer for lack of a better term tells you seedlings young plants and then mature plants and the dial is between young plant and mature plant this means that this system will bring a lettuce or a herb right to maturation where you can then harvest however this system is not going to work and it's not going to be big enough for something large like a tomato or a pepper plant so if you want to grow indoor pepper plants or larger plants in general then you may want to consider going with the root farm this one here holds a lot more water and it can hold one tomato plant overall just based on the base size and that sort of thing now could you get away with growing a tomato plant in here yes of course however it's likely that the top is going to be much too heavy for the bottom and you may end up with it tipping over despite your best interest in trying to keep the water up inside of this system now say you didn't want to go fully hydroponic with the jiffy pod or the root farm system down here and you wanted to go for something intermediate that's working off capillary action using a soaking mat then you would want to go with your sun blaster garden so this one here as well as the nano dobe garden and i think there's one this one right here there's a smaller minier one and inside this you have your regular pots that you fill with peat based soil with perlite and underneath there is a capillary mat now soil in general is 
really neat in the sense that it is able to soak up water that is just within its proximity through something we call capillary action. And that's exactly what the sun blasters work off of. Capillary action is a really unique feature that can be found in any soil or soilless medium. And that's exactly what the nano sun blaster gardens work off of. So there is a capillary mat that's filled with water and through capillary action, that water is soaked up into that potting soil medium. So it is a hybrid between hydroponics and uh, semi-hydroponics. It's kind of like a passive system when it comes to the sun blaster domes. So if you don't mind a bit of soil in the house or if that's what you're comfortable with, then those are really great options. However, I do encourage you to try out hydroponics. I think you'd be really surprised with how quickly you will get a harvest because for whatever reason, plants tend to grow really, really great in those systems. So obviously the next step when it comes to just gardening in general is light. And unfortunately where we are here in Canada or anywhere you may be in Northern US or Canada, there's not a ton of light in those winter months thank god for uh, northern hemispheres so that does mean we need to introduce light in some capacity so in here we have with our sun blaster kits we have light we have a light bar such as this one here that one and then this guy up here so with our lighting systems we have the light supplied and these are all purpose lights meaning they have a bit of red blue and green spectrum now i don't think in these sun blaster kits you're going to be able to grow any sort of fruiting vegetables such as a tomato or a pepper. You could give it a shot, but you may not have great results only because you don't have the soil volume you need to supply the nutrients and the care that those larger plants uh, need to be able to survive and grow and thrive. Now with the full hydro kits such as the Jiffy Grow system and the root farm system down here, you are going to need to buy a light separate and they have a ton of different options. You can go with the actual root farm light, which is all purpose. It does have the red, green and blue spectrum, meaning you can grow leaves, herbs, all the way to flowering, fruiting plants, as well as they do have something a bit larger, such as the T5 spectrum again. And then you have your, you have your general electric lights and there's a ton of selection when it comes to the general electric lights. You have the green or sorry, the pink and blue spectrum, which is seeds and greens. And then you also have your flower and fruit spectrum, which is the red one. So if you're trying to grow something like a tomato or a pepper, you can start off with just purchasing the light that says fruit and flower on it. However, if you are looking for something to grow greens, lettuce, seed starters, anything like that, then I encourage you to go with this grow light here. The reason why you wouldn't use a fruit or flower light for something like a basil plant is simply because you don't want it to flower. You want to harvest the foliage, not the flowers themselves. So just something to keep in mind now with the GE lights, separate lights, like the single bulbs, you would have to buy a separate ballast, which they have those here. You just go to the chicken section and they will have those there as like a heating light setup. Um, but you can actually get them inside the ballast with the lights themselves. And then there are replacement bulbs as well. Okay, last up here, we have the chemical section. And I understand that this can be incredibly intimidating. So because we are doing an entire grow series here with PV Mart and connected to the land, I'm going to be breaking these down bit by bit every week for you guys. So I want you to ignore this for right now. It's not as intimidating as what you may think. And if you're following along with this series, you're going to be made in the shade and you are going to see nothing but success when it comes to growing indoors. So don't let this intimidate you. Don't let this turn you off from growing because it is much simpler than what this here seems like. Okay, so the root farm stuff here is probably the simplest out of all of them. Um, I do find that this down here, I would reserve this if you really know what you're doing or you really want to dig deep into hydroponics in general. But if you're just looking to supply yourself with some fresh leafy greens, herbs or some fresh fruits and vegetables to eat during the winter months, then I honestly would go with the Root Farm brand. And the reason for this is because it is a two part uh, grouping of fertilizer. So your first or your, your base is literally called Root Farm Base and it says part one on it. You are gonna start off with this and then depending on what you're growing indoors, you will switch off to either uh, the leafy green part two, the vegetable, 
part two or the flower part two which is this one here and that's literally it when it comes to the root farm now we're going to get into more of this ph stuff here which is again root farm but like i said very easy and not difficult to deal with if you decide that you really want to take on hydroponics and capitalize on it and do a great job there is this brand here you can get this kit here which has a little bit of everything uh, that you can give it a try and see how you do so that is all i have for you guys in regards to selection and what to choose the next video i'm actually going to show you what i chose and why and exactly how to set it up and then we're literally going to go through like i said an entire series on how to grow indoors so that is going to include everything from lighting fertilizer, seed selection, you name it. Now, when it does come to seeds, PB Mart does have some seeds still in store that you can grab, but we're gonna talk about that all, like I said, on this series. If you enjoyed this video or you're really excited for this series in general, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see me grow. I will be more than happy to accommodate that for you and kind of what sticking points you have for indoor gardening in general. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.